hi everyone welcome back to my channel healing this oracle or welcome if you're new if you're new here guys consider subscribing all my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my etsy shop as well okay everything you see in front of you the crystals candles and much more is there so make sure you check it today we have the week ahead reading this is a video that i add every weekend i'm going to change now into the next seven days reading so whenever you watch this okay this will count for the next seven days but i do add the cards here more towards you know the week monday tuesday wednesday thursday but it's just the next seven days for you what will happen what can you expect and i will be adding extra cards for your love life your finances and an advice card but it will be all tarot cards today one extra card here and i'm gonna add some charms okay so every week i try to do a little bit different but i was drawn to do all tarot cards this week and one extra card here for the guides as well and the charms okay so hopefully you like this and if you like let me know you know leave a comment as well if you like this format like always my details the cards that i use the way for you to support this channel everything is always on the description below today we have group one two and three group one will have all of them have full tarot cards here uh, tarot decks and uh, you can choose here whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one but of course like i always say you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most because of course you know it will resonate in your heart so always trust your intuition as well okay guys so again group one two and three timestamp below thanks for watching Group one, if you chose this beautiful deck here, this is the Light Sears deck, and we start for the next seven days. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, the first two days. If you're watching this and it's not the weekend yet, or the the weekend, maybe you're watching this in the middle of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Group one, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'll leave this here because I will be adding extra cards from this for your finances and your love life. But we'll start with the week. So Monday, Tuesday, the Emperor. Okay. Starting the week, you're very focused, guys. Okay. I don't read just the, the card, the energy as well. Very focused. I feel like in need here to cut away some distractions. Maybe you know that you need to do a few things this week, but... You could be busy as well and you could be procrastinating and thinking you know you can do this tomorrow so have this energy of the emperor here monday tuesday and you get things done straight away beginning of the week things you needed to do don't you know wait you know start doing focus anything that can distract you could be you know really being on your phone all the time or really doing things that you know are not practical for you and are not helpful to just cut yourself and focus here. I see you being able to focus on what you want and accomplish as well. Okay, guys, Aries energy here. Okay, so fiery energy here, but also showing here that you need to focus. Okay, so use this energy of the emperor to get things done. And I see you busy Monday, Tuesday, but getting things done. Okay, Wednesday, Thursday, we have the four of swords. It's interesting because after, you know, being busy and doing things here like the emperor, you need to slow down a little bit halfway through the week. You could catch yourself a little bit tired as well so make sure you give yourself permission to you know slow down to do the things you needed to do and think before rushing into anything i feel like monday tuesday you have to do things you have things to accomplish and you have to take this energy but then comes halfway through the week you have to slow down you have to think a little bit and you have to see as well the results of everything you have done so far so there's a halfway through the week here a chance for you to think what you have done what was the result here of the things that you did Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, you sit down, you analyze. If you're happy about something, you continue. And if not, it's a chance for you to cut away as well, because the swords here, the opportunity to speak up your mind, to you know be honest with yourself, with others, and a chance here for you to cut away what's not serving for sure. But slowing down, thinking, analyzing, and then seeing what's good for you. And the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have the High Priestess, which is great because you continue here in the introspective side here, trusting your intuition. It feels like you're really connected here with yourself. It feels like because you, you are busy here beginning of the week and you do few things, it looks like the rest of the week you kind of analyze 
you know, the results of that, if you're happy about it. There are things that I feel that you guys will have the courage to cut away. And uh, even if it's, it's something that you maybe were thinking before, you will have a chance here to really trust your intuition. And by the weekend, you will be really happy with that. You will know that you did the right thing. And you know that you, you should be continuing to trust your intuition to carry on with your path open. Okay, guys? So it feels like this is a very interesting week of things getting done. And you analyzing the results of that, okay? So it feels like a lot of you regarding work as well, okay? So you guys who are waiting here for work results, things that you're doing, projects that you need to complete, Monday, Tuesday, okay? I see you completing things, finally getting things done, and then you have a chance to relax a little bit as well and enjoy, you know, time for yourself, a time to see your results, and then, you know, leave behind what's not serving as well. Like I said, I'm going to continue with the tarot card this week, and I want to, to add extra card here for your love life. So for your love life here and your finances as well. <laughs> okay, cards flying here. I'm going to continue to shuffle here. But if it's meant to be, they'll come back. Okay, the cards are flying. So I'm going to take this one for your love life. And I'm going to shuffle a bit more for your finances. Finances group one. Okay. I want to get one extra card as an advice. But I will get an extra card for advice from the, the guides as well. Okay, and I'll leave the extra card here in a bit. So for your love life this week, okay, group one, we do have the four of cups. Okay, guys, this is interesting because someone is trying to talk to you this week, okay? Could be someone who has feelings for you, someone maybe you have um, already a relationship with. But, you know, whether you have someone or not, someone is trying to communicate with you. And it feels like uh, you could be a little bit bored or pay attention to your feelings only yourself and you miss this opportunity to talk with someone okay so don't miss out okay guys this i read i make these readings here i do these readings because you can do something or avoid as well you can avoid here because this is uh, someone who wants to talk to you about their feelings okay there's an offer here coming something that you will be interested okay i really feel like the energy here is something that you will like if you pay attention if you will if you give a little bit of your time as well to this person whether you have them in your life or someone trying to come back into your life trying to tell you how they feel about you but there's someone trying to contact you this week okay even if it's someone already that you have there you you are in a relationship this person wants to sit down and talk to you more okay so give a little bit of attention there to your partner your boyfriend your girlfriend your you know the person that you have in your life but it feels like uh, for you guys who don't have someone there already in a relationship someone is coming anyway okay someone trying to call your attention here and it feels like you're not giving them much attention okay so just you have an idea here as well but it really looks like someone coming pouring their feelings here and so pay attention so you don't miss this opportunity okay guys because it could be something that you miss as well so pay attention that you don't miss for your finances this week career whether you have a job or not anything you're trying to manifest money okay we do have the eight of cups okay guys you are walking away from something here regarding your finances regarding maybe some of you guys are making decisions this week about leaving a job something that you are not happy with or making a decision to start to start a new journey this is a new journey you are leaving something behind that you're starting something good she's walking towards the sun okay there's light at the end here so anything that was difficult to make a decision regarding your finances, maybe you are, you know, make, making decisions regarding the job that you have, you wanted to start something new, could be ideas coming to you. doesn't mean that you needed to really uh, walk away straight away. It, it could be the ideas coming to you and you know that it's going to pull you away from where you are right now. So give a little bit of attention to that, guys, okay? Because it could be a beautiful new journey. doesn't mean that it's easy to leave things behind. But there's a chance here to start again, but doing something that you really resonates with your heart, something that you really like, okay? So pay attention to that for you guys who are thinking about starting your own business or applying for something new. Even if you are in, in your own job, but you want to apply for something different, you know, it's your chance here, even inside the same company. You know, guys, take what resonates, but it really feels like uh, you have a chance here this week. So, you know, don't uh, be afraid of that because sometimes it's hard to start again, but don't be afraid, okay? And an advice for the week for you guys this week. Okay, see the three of swords here. It's like 
pay attention to the things that are hurting you, the things that um, are not resonating with your heart, the things that maybe you needed to give a little bit of attention for healing as well. Okay, so the advice of the week is like anything that is causing you distress or anything that you it's not resonating with your heart. It doesn't mean like um, heartbreak from relationships. It could be for some of you, but anything that you know is not resonating with your heart this week, pay attention, allow healing, allow some light to come to this area and understand why is this bothering you? Why are you not happy about this? What can you do about it? Okay. It's a week of decisions as well. It's a week of thinking, you know, what uh, are the results that you are getting in different areas of your life? So it's a chance to analyze here. Are you happy about this? Is it a chance to cut away? It is will help you or not. So do not be afraid of looking into the difficult things, the difficult areas, making the hard questions as well. Okay. I wanted to add one extra card here from the guides and uh, this is from my own deck okay whispers of guides oracle if you wanted to check the link is below for yourself so any advice from the guides for group one for this week for the next seven days what will happen for you advice for you guys another like just a direction here obstacles are merely lessons beautiful interesting here with the all that's going on here this um chance here like i was saying to look at the things that are difficult as well letting go cutting away there could be obstacles that you were thinking how come this is so difficult those were lessons for you you know so pay attention to the lessons as well so you can let go of what's not serving but then carry on with the lesson with you so you know you're not going to do this again or you know what are your boundaries regarding any situation that you are unhappy with okay very interesting i wanted to add some charms this week just to add on to anything that can be helpful you know how the charms are a bit noisy guys and also anything that can help okay i'll bring you closer all right so we do have the scorpio okay water signs here represented we we also had the emperor here aries so we have some letters it could be your initials someone else's initials that is important for you it could be a word that you recognize there so we have f a d a o we have some numbers those numbers could be important for you guys this week okay so it could be someone it could be something it could be your birthday it could be a date here that is important for you this month okay so this week specifically we do have girl we have a uh, yeah we do it looks like there's some kind of transformation this week guys okay things are moving forward okay things are moving here i see lots of emotions as well it's interesting because we have the scorpio sign here which are deeper emotions you know things going deeper for you this week it's interesting because i was saying about looking at the things that are bothering you or they're hurting you you know to really face your reality to face your truth to really be honest with yourself this week okay we have some transformation coming your way Okay, guys, it really feels like uh, you have a chance here to move forward with something. Like I said, walking away from things that many times is difficult. But just for you to be flexible with yourself, to give yourself a chance as well. Okay, this is a week here. You see, we have the word cool. I feel like it, it feels like it's a week that you can look things in a different perspective, you know, and uh, allow yourself to really do what you wanted to do. Maybe it was for a while. It really feels like uh, you'll have some kind of um commitment conversations as well with someone we have a chance of really getting in contact with someone someone calling your attention here like i said with the four of cups it really feels like someone's trying to get in touch with you but also things moving moving ahead okay not because they are rushed into something completely different but it feels like like i said it could be creativity could be ideas could be you applying for something different it could be you having a, dif a difficult conversation with yourself with others but having a chance here to face your truth and allow transformation to a better place okay so it, it is a good thing here it is a change here but it's moving forward okay so you are growing here this is a very interesting week here for you you know um group one it really feels like so anything else that's calling your attention here is for you any numbers any words here so anything for you but it really feels here guys remember here obstacles are merely lessons this week and it can be very important for you okay because you're making decisions here you're walking away from something you're not rushing you're thinking you're analyzing you're making a rational decision so you know what's good for you this week so this is a very good week here for your group one no doubt 
And that's what I have here for you, group one. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this video or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see in front of you and much more is there. Make sure you check it. I send everything energized for you. If, if you're not yet consider subscribing make sure to like and share this video you know it helps the channel very much and you can help someone as well that needs this message okay as always guys i wish you a beautiful week thanks for watching group two if you chose this beautiful deck we start with your week like always and now add extra cards for love finances so group two on the tuesday wednesday thursday Right, this Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. The next seven days, whenever you're watching this, okay, guys. So I normally organize by the week, but the next seven days for you. And I'll add extra cards. I'll leave this here because I'll add extra cards in a bit. So Monday, Tuesday, straight away, we have the star. Beautiful, guys. You start here the week really looking into some hope here, having hope with the things you wanted to do. It feels like you have a guide as well, could be someone helping you to see things, to have a direction, to have a, a goal as well. So beginning of the week, I see you very hopeful, having the direction, anything that was a bit confusing lately, it feels like you open up here and you know what you want as well, okay? Decided and uh, looking forward as well. So anything that was difficult to leave behind and you have some kind of guide, some hope, and it could be for some of you, even someone who is a guide for you, you know, so make a wish as well. This is a chance here to make a wish, to have hope and uh, really put your intentions towards the things that you try to manifest, okay? Any different area of your life. So Monday, Tuesday, make a wish as well. Put some intention towards the things you wanted to manifest. It will be uh, important here for you because the energy is very strong for you. Wednesday, Thursday, we do have the nine of wands, okay? It feels like you guys could get a little bit tired, you know, halfway through the week. It could be because you're working, you're busy with your family, with everything you need to be involved with this week. And, uh, but this is here, is just to tell you, you're nearly there. Don't give up, okay? So anything you're trying to accomplish, any projects, anything that you need to really accomplish, like, you know, have a list of things you need to do this week to remember to not give up, okay? So you're nearly there. If you need to ask for help as well, don't be afraid. But it feels like you could get a bit tired. So make sure it takes some time for you as well, halfway through the week, because I see you busy. Many of you with work, with projects, with family, with kids. So anything that is taking a lot of your energy, you know, just remember to recharge a little bit at the end of the day, that's just because it can be helpful. But you're nearly there. You're so close to accomplish something this week. Remember here again, the intentions, putting intentions, putting your prayers, your affirmations towards the things you wanted to manifest can be really, really good here for you because, you know, you, you get into a point that you'll be tired halfway to the week. But that hope, you know, of the beginning of the week can help you also to carry on. And comes the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have temperance. Look at this. We do have the patience here. We do have the healing coming. We have things coming to a balance, okay, for you. Anything that was out of balance, difficult, again, here with you, maybe working very much, you know, stressing out or getting to a point that you, you're stretching a lot and getting tired, it really feels like you have a chance here by the weekend to find that balance. So anything that was taking you out of balance this week, you know, you come back here by the weekend, by the, the end of those seven days, whenever you're watching this, you know, it will make a difference here. It will uh, bring you with more patience, with healing, with, um, you know, the balance coming back restored. And you're being able to juggle different areas as well. But finding that uh, way of, you know, putting everything into the scales and finding the right answers, the right directions here. So anything that you had to accomplish here, guys, I really feel like you find the balance by the weekend. You are more towards having patience with yourself. Even if you have not accomplished yet something, you're so close. So you can have patience with yourself, with others here. So very interesting weekend here. Feels like you see things from a different perspective as well. And you're very hopeful towards, you know, anything that you're trying to accomplish here this week. So very good week here, guys. I wanted to add extra cards for your love life, finances, advice here. And this week, I'm going to continue with the tarot and just one extra card here from the guides at the end. So group two, love life, group two, and finances for group two, finances, 
and an advice ending for this week here focus and i'll get an extra card from the guides in a bit but for your love life this week group two we have ace of cups wow look at that you know an offer of love someone pouring their emotions here if you have someone already could be sitting down having a conversation having goals together them sharing you know how they feel towards you towards this relationship you know really emotions love here this week for you guys and if you really don't have someone yet this is someone coming forward this week telling you how they feel or even someone just trying to hint you to show you you know that they are interested in you or they wanted to come back into your life there is really someone here guys don't miss this opportunity here especially if you guys don't have a relationship now this is a chance here guys no doubt ace of cups the chance the opportunity they offer as well okay so you can see here pouring the emotions they love here for you yeah lovely beautiful card here for your love life this week for your finances group two we have the Ten of Swords. It is the completion of something, guys. Okay, so don't be scared about, you know, the way the card looks because the Ten is a completion. Something is coming to an end. Many of you could be interesting because there is some of this energy as well on the group one if you want to watch. But um, it looks like uh, you get to a point where you fed up or you tired with the things that you are accomplishing could be some of you understanding that you no longer wants to be in the job that you are or in the position that you are you could be thinking about leaving behind completely you could be tired and not happy about that so you wanted to leave it it could be that this is a chance for you to close a chapter as well and start a new one okay so don't think like it's a bad thing because it doesn't mean that it's easy but it means that you have a chance to start again you have a reset a chance here for you guys and it could have been difficult maybe you had uh, difficult times regarding your finances lately but this is like uh, it's coming to an end this is as bad as it get you know like uh, whatever it was any situation that was difficult regarding finances money trying to find a job or being in a job that you not like anything that was is low okay you know you're leaving 2020 behind this is really like a chance here to reset, to restart, okay, guys? So you're closing, you're finishing this chapter. This is as, you know, as hard as it was and uh, you're having a chance to reset here, okay? So this week can be very, very important regarding your decisions with your finances, with your money, with your jobs, whatever you apply in case you want to apply for something else. Have the courage, guys. This is about communication as well, okay? So speak up your mind, you know, be honest with yourself and whoever's involved here. And you have a door here that you can reset regarding your finances, your job, your career, your own business. Okay, what do you want? Be honest with yourself and then you can leave behind, close this chapter and start again. Okay, an advice for the week here for group two, we do have the chariot. Look at this. It's just to tell you guys, really, it feels the energy here because I've been with just the cards, the energy as well. It's telling you uh, this week is not just about making decisions or seeing things that uh, could be hard is about having hope for looking forward the future things are moving forward here for you the chart is a movement things are starting into getting into motion here for you so it feels like in many different areas of your life you know things are starting to get into motion so for you to pay attention to that for you to not be afraid to allow things to move forward to leave things behind as well and to have patience with yourself but understanding you're not stuck things are moving for you you're learning you're evolving you're growing Things are really changing here for you guys. This week, I feel like you will realize this very much. So just keep that in your mind, especially when you get halfway through the week, when you're tired, when you're facing things that are difficult, to hold on to the hope of the star and to understand you are moving forward. Have patience with yourself, like the temperance as well, okay? Very important for you. I wanted to add one extra card here from the Whispers of Guides Oracle. This is my own deck. If you want to have it for yourself, the link is there below. Any message here, any guides? For group two we do have prosperity and manifestation power wow beautiful guys you do have this prosperity and manifestation power i feel like you needed to hear this especially if you saw this here for your finances and you're thinking you know i'm leaving things behind or i'm making a hard decision this week anything guys remember this here can be a door that you're closing that you're opening the beautiful prosperity and manifestation power here for you and many times for us to open a new door we need to close the first one so don't be afraid to do that I'll leave this here for you and I wanted to add some charms, okay guys, just to add on something different this week and uh, you see, if you like it, let me know and you know how it is, the charms are very noisy, so I just wanted to add here, to add on here, any more information for you this week. Okay, I'll bring this closer. 
closer to you. So we do have letters, could be your initials, someone else's initials, okay? We do have uh, Sagittarius here, okay? So air, uh, fire signs here, Sagittarius. We do have uh, QKW as a letter, so it could be your initials, someone else's initials that is coming forward this week. We do have the Ace of Cups. We do have some numbers, so it could be important for you. could be your date of birth could be someone else's could be the date that you guys meet could be the week that we are so we do have three seven twenty one and twelve we do have definitely someone coming forward to tell you how they feel because look at this we have the cupid and we do have this the bird here for me is like someone trying to communicate with you sending you some kind of message you know we do have the word help off so it could be that you have a help of someone this week flexibility this week light at the end of the tunnel we do have another number which is three you see two times the number three guys so it could be important for you okay we do have some work okay so it, it feels like especially with that um the nine of ones there you know you guys working really hard this week remember like i said it should take a little bit of time for you okay so remember that so you recharge there's some kind of transformation this week as well a chance to really hold on to the things that are important for you okay so really important here ideas creativity being grounded as well that's why it feels like you will understand what's good for you being grounded and really making decisions that are good okay so it really feels here guys um that you have a chance here to really balance things you know especially with that temperance as well but it feels like it's a chance for things to move no doubt here this week so anything that's calling your attention here is for you guys okay so anything here anything else that uh, you see it's for you remember here we have sagittarius as well air um, i keep saying air fire signs here but it really feels that you guys have a chance here to understand it this week you know things are moving forward like the chariot you're making decisions that will be helpful for you not just this week not just the next seven days i feel like you're setting things into motion and things will continue you know there will be a difference here for you this is an important week for you guys and remember here love as well okay it's like opening new doors closing some other ones and really finding a balance here beautiful remember prosperity and manifestation power here for you guys yeah that's all i have here for your group too i hope this helps you out and resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions my link is below for private readings as well for my etsy shop everything you see in front of you and much more is there if you're new here consider subscribing make sure to like and share this video it could help someone it helps the channel very much and as always i wish you a beautiful week thanks for watching group three if you chose this beautiful deck as always we start with the, the week and i'm gonna be adding extra cards here for your love life your finances so for the next day whenever you watch this but normally i add here as the week so monday tuesday or the next seven days here wednesday thursday okay i'll take the top one and the weekend friday saturday sunday group three Okay, and I'll get extra cards in a bit, but just to start here, Monday, Tuesday, okay, guys, we do have the Muse of Voice. This is the King of Swords, okay, and this is a very interesting card here to start the week. It really shows here, guys, that um, you are not uh, allowing anything that, uh, you know, is not resonating with you, anything that you feel like you need to speak up. You will have the courage this is the week that you start speaking your mind you're very honest you're very straightforward make sure you uh, take care of the words you use as well so you don't hurt anybody because you're being very honest very blunt that's a good thing it's just to find that balance but this shows here as well you're not afraid to cut away what's not serving okay and you're using mind over emotions you're stepping away from dramas you are not really allowing dramas things that are not really helping you so it feels like you are busy as well you have things to do you you know you're starting the week you you have things to accomplish this week and this will be very helpful for you to be straightforward to be honest to just find that balance to be honest with love but you, you know honesty is speaking up is everything for you here because we'll really, really open the doors here will make a difference and uh, you're not allowing distractions as well it feels like you're cutting away something here it's important this week that uh, could be distracting you could be stopping your blessings coming your way could be stopping you to resolve something straight away beginning of the week you decide it you know you're very like mind over emotions you know what's good for you and you do it even if you have to cut away something very very honest which is very good and the middle of the week wednesday thursday 
the ten of materials this is the ten of cups that's lovely guys you can see here accomplishing beautiful things money coming away halfway through the week okay you could be getting paid for something you did could be a, a blessing could be a gift there's some money coming away here halfway through the week and you're getting to accomplish something as well you're completing something you really get into a point where you feel happy you feel balanced and this money can really be like a blessing can be something that you really like it's just to show you even if it's not so much money for some of you, I'm just telling you what's coming to my mind because I not just I don't read the just the cards, the energy as well. It's just to tell you the it, even if it's not so much money for some of you, it will be just a, enough reason for you to understand you are on the right path as well. It could be that you are investing your time into uh, your own business or trying to accomplish something, and some of this money will just be that reason for you guys to understand. Uh, Okay, this is the right thing. I'm on the right path here. I'm onto something, you know? So remember that, okay, guys, for you, the, even if you don't see like huge amount of money, you will get some money for the work that you put in towards something here. Many of you could be trying your own business, your own things, or side the job as well for some of you who are putting your time into something else, trying to make extra money. Remember that, okay, guys, because I really see that you will be uh, receiving this money as a sign as well that you are on the right path, okay? So remember that. And the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whenever you're watching this, just count to the, the next seven days. Uh, you have the eight of emotions. Beautiful. This is the eight of cups. You're making a decision here, guys, to walk away from something, okay? And it could be that it was difficult. You know, it's not because it's easy decision, but it really shows you are on the right path here. You are following your heart, your intuition. You are seeing a light at the end of this. It's a new journey, okay? This card came as well on the first group in case you wanted to watch that, but it wasn't on the weekend. It's a different order here, but just so you guys have an idea. This, you know, is a decision. This is like, I'm going to take a journey here. It could be an internal journey. It could be an external journey. Some of you could be traveling specifically, but I really see you making a decision that is good for you. You know what's good for you. And even if you have to cut away what's not serving, you know, even if you have to really trust your intuition, you know, you're on the right path, guys. Follow, follow that heart, follow what you feel is right for you because you really take you to a beautiful journey here. And this is a week of that decision, okay? So even if you're not uh, like uh, traveling straight away, it could be that some of you are making the decision to do something that will, you know, start here this new journey for you, okay? So it could be different areas, of course, take what's resonating, but it could be you applying for something that you want. You, you really look into specifically travels, you know, for some of you, but it could be a journey within as well. You wanted to cut away what's not serving. You know something was not good for you. It could be a place, a person, an attitude. It wasn't good for you. This is the week of making that decision. And by the weekend, by the end of those seven days, you are walking away from something here, guys. It doesn't mean that it's easy. But it, you, I really see you guys uh, looking this into a very positive uh, way here. Um, positive perspective because you know you're following your intuition and you're happy with that. Okay? Lovely here. I wanted to add extra cards for your love life, finances, and uh, an advice here for you guys. Okay? Group three. Love life group three. Finances. Finances group three. And an advice for you guys. And I'll get an extra card there. Wow. <laughs> okay, advice. And I'll get extra cards and charms in a bit. But for your love life, we do have the will. Okay, guys, the will of fortune here. So for your love life, things could have gone up and down. And it's time to find that balance. Okay, so anything that was, that was a bit... Um, disconnected or you know fights with your person or you, you guys being disconnected okay you have a chance if you don't have someone if you felt like your love life in general was up and down you no know, dramas this is a week of bringing things into more of a balance whether you have someone or not balance is coming away you have a chance to see things from a different perspective that you know being in the middle understanding both sides can really help you to find the balance find the position here that can really set things into motion here in a positive way, okay? So everything is possible this week here as well, guys, okay? So it's like chances as well this week, okay, in your love life. So pay attention to that in case you don't have someone, there's a chance here, okay? So don't miss that. And uh, for your finances, group three, wow, we have the sun, beautiful. Okay, guys, your finances here, happiness, clarity of mind, and really something that's resonating with your heart. This is also a yes card, okay? So in case you needed to say yes to something, in case you wanted to make a decision about something, 
this is like yes give yourself permission this week okay regarding your finances whether it's to apply for a different position or to go for your own business try something new to really not be afraid this is like go for it because there will be happiness at the end of this even if you have to take a journey even if you have to cut away happiness okay guys this is a beautiful card here for your finances okay whether you have a job or not whether you're trying to apply for your own business apply for something else get something new this is yes okay guys for you this week beautiful and i wanted to get uh, an extra card here for an advice in general this is the one that jumped here for you which is the five of materials this is just to tell you here guys see things from a different perspective okay this week especially regarding your finances remember we have the sun here we have uh, things that maybe you're cutting away or starting a new journey but remember to not feel like um, it, it, things are so difficult okay this is like uh, the solution the um, reasons here for you guys to be where you are and making the decisions that you have to do this week they are easier than you realize the key is could be right there and you're just missing out okay so see things from a perspective of more positivity it's not as hard as you may think and um, in general not just regarding your finances but for this week anything that you feel like oh this is so difficult try to see from a different perspective what's the lesson here how can i understand and move forward here okay so it can really make a difference for you guys I wanted to add one extra card here. This is from the Whispers of Guides Oracle. It's my own deck. If you wanted to have it for yourself, it's below. And any advice here for group three, anything from the guides, group three. You do have emotional balance. Beautiful. This is what you have a chance to accomplish this week, okay, guys? The guides are helping you this week with emotional balance, especially with the wheel here and things can that can go sometimes into different emotions, especially with the eight of emotions here when you have to make a decision to walk away from something. You know, it's not because it's always easy, and uh, but it's just to tell you, you will have that balance. You will have that trust as well. So trust your intuition. It will make a huge difference here emotional balance this week the guides are helping you with i wanted to add some charms as well you know how it is they're noisy guys so i just wanted to add some charms here to add on you know let me know if you like this as well okay so just bring this a bit close to you we do have some letters so it could be your initials someone else's initials we have g r and s we do have uh, Gemini here as well, air signs represented. We do have the number 10, okay, guys? So in case this is important for you, could be a date, could be, um, you know, your birthday, someone else's birthday, the, the number 10, you know, the the number 10 or the date or the, the 10th would be important for you. We do have a uh, few, thing, few things going on, okay? You do need the, you have a chance to be very clever this week, okay? To make a decision, even if uh, it's more steps, okay? Remember, you're moving forward it feels like uh, you have a chance here with love like i said to bring a bit of balance but i see you working hard as well i see you working hard regarding your business regarding you you know your finances things that you're trying to accomplish but i see you being able to um find some happiness towards that as well even if it's difficult it's like you're working hard but you're seeing results as well or you're working hard and you're doing something that you like okay so definitely a chance this week of doing something that you're happy with and um finding more of that intuition and trusting okay this is definitely someone coming forward like uh, trying to contact you i see some of you guys who need a job uh, getting someone contacting you regarding jobs as well it, it could be an offer it could be someone who's contacting you for interviews as well okay guys so take what's resonating here because it's uh, just specific things that come for some of you music can be important this week for you guys okay putting some music to relax or to uh, put your energy higher as well you know music is something that can really be beneficial to either calm you down or just uh, bring you happiness as well you know to remember um, uh, to find that time of balance as well but i see you very happy this week remember i have the sun card here as well so i see you being able to hear things and get away from uh you know masks as well remember we have the king of swords in the beginning of the week so i see you guys being very honest very straightforward and getting that out of people as well being able to recognize that and uh, people really responding to you the same way which is great you know and that's interesting because we do have the um, gemini which is air energy here again with the king of swords that you know communication is everything this week guys be honest with yourself with others and you will get that out of people as well and remember here we do have emotional balance okay it's mind over 
emotions this week in a way like um because you find the emotional balance i feel like you step away from dramas that's why with that honesty with that sword of the king of sword with uh, you know being honest with love as well so that's why you find that emotional balance this week yeah very important week here for you interesting week here guys decisions but happiness here emotional balance coming away okay group three yeah, that's what I have here for you guys. I hope this helps you out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Make sure to like and share this video with someone that needs a reading. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a beautiful week. Thanks for watching.